Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel Vue.js crash course series. And now guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to edit and update the data. Okay, so guys, let's get started. So let's move to our VS code. And here is our table component guys. That is our student table component, which is over here. Done. And now we have fetched that and our edit button is find it over here. And now inside this guys you will get the id so scope dot dollar index of scope dot dot row okay so this will give you all the details of it because this this row is getting from your table row so you you need to understand about this element ui package so from there you can understand how it's working on this okay so guys now let us test this when i click this edit button so you should get the row id so let's go below and inside the methods you are going to now you need to copy the edit name so instead of handle edit we'll write as edit data now let's copy this function name and go below the methods so edit data function open and close curly brace and with comma and inside this guys let's console log and see the id first so you can just tell row dot id let's pass that one is your index key and one is your row okay so your table row data now guys let us execute so make sure your npm run watch is executed let's refresh and let's click on the id number two so edit you can see that two data has come let's click on one so one data has come perfect guys so on this basis we will start creating the code so now let's remove this and give the windows location code where we will tell edit student with row dot id plus forward slash edit so now let's copy this path and create a route guys so let's move to web.php and just create a route with this let's copy and paste edit student forward slash with the id forward slash edit this edit one all set and now over here you will go to edit function so let's go to student controller and create a function with the name edit so let's go to student function and move below create a public function with the name edit function now first you will get your dollar id and let's create a variable data is equal to in array format where first will be our scope 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 of which will make it to edit copy and paste and this dollar id you will take and pass it in id guys so let's send this in id and once done you are going to return view let me just copy this from here to student form so same form will be going it okay so let's see what happens there so let's move to student form and this is the form guys over here scope and id is already defined if id is given means it will take this else it takes as zero so let's go back to our controller student controller and from here back to our table component guys now let's open the form all set so if you are not understanding how to do edit and update please watch out from the part one so you can understand this flow okay so now guys let's move to top and this is our form inside this form we will be pasting the data so now guys you are going to follow two steps that is 
inside your props you have got the scope okay so scope is like we are getting the edit and we are getting one id also so for that let's define id and that will be number guy save and next is let's move on mounted and on this mounted you have to get your axios data so for that guys you can start with the switch case because for inserting the data we are using the same form and for edit also we are going to use the same form component okay so for that let's use switch switch where this dot scope open and close curly brace so case of edit when we are going to edit that time you will be calling break copy and break now guys inside this you are going to run the axios so let's type ax dot get method dot then function open and close and inside the response we are going to get the data so first we will create a code guys for this let's start with the backtick symbol fetch student create show by id forward slash dollar this open and close curly brace this dot id so this id is nothing but your this props id so after getting the data guys you are going to set out that so you can use this dot dollar set function so this is not hash it is dollar so dollar set function where this comma where my model column so this is my model inside the data function inside that model what i am going to set the response dot data whatever data whatever results come from this route so let's copy this and create a route for it let's go and route colon colon get method paste this over here you are going to send id and then guys same controller will move and you can show that edit data function let's go over there and create the function public function with the name edit data open and close and inside this you are going to get id variable and from this variable id you will get your student is equal to your student model colon colon find function and then get the result guys so you can get the result as for this response so your json response okay so let's take this and pass this in a variable called data all set so now you will be copying this and let's move to a for student form component and inside this you will get the data guys so response dot data dot data because we are passing in multiple so for this let's check the output once console log dot log function let's save and now guys let's refresh once and see the output for this okay so let's click on id2 edit perfect edit student with the id and data has come over here guys and the console log is also viewed correctly done because we have used this data in data as your student controller where you are getting in a variable data so this is sending over there and we are fetching that data guys so let's comment this out and yep guys let's see the code to insert the data into a database i mean update the data so now let's get back so now guys let's move below at our method where 
for saving the data we are using the same function so our save form function save student so for update also we will be using the same function so let's get back to our save function and inside this guys we are going to give a condition so let's use switch switch function where inside this you are going to this dot scope which we have seen this code for creating the student okay so this you can put in a create case so let's type create colon where this will be inside the create case and break it so now let's use the second case for edit okay all set and same view x thing we are going to call so let's copy this and paste so instead of save student we are going to create a dispatch of update student so this dispatch function goes to your actions and call the function guys so now let's copy this function name and whatever data we are getting we are storing inside this and sending the data to update the data into our database okay so once the switch case is done we have to default colon and use the break that's it guys so let's over here after this we have to send we have to send the id also so where you will use this this dot model model colon this dot model with this you are going to send the id also so let me just keep that id colon this dot id comma all set so this dot id comes from your props so this id you will get and the data the model you are getting from your data function whatever data is insert present in that all set so with this id and your this dot model you will send to update function so guys now the work of dispatch is going to call action.js and call this function so now let's copy this and move to our action.js where we will let me comment it let's copy this above function so we save the time let's copy and paste over here and first step guys we are going to get the payload value from this payload you are going to get your id and model data now let's set the url first give forward slash dollar open and close curly brace where inside this your payload dot id okay once you will get the id variable and one thing one more thing we have to get your model so payload dot m o d e l make sure your spelling is correct so this is the id and model let's paste that now your url is set over here and your data also is coming let's change the message i mean loader updating and once updated you will show updated successfully perfect so now guys let's create a route for this to update the data into a database so once updated you are going back to where students page okay so let's move to a web route and create a route with the put method okay update student forward slash id so we are going to use put method so make sure you have given the form in your action.js as put method we are going to use put method so make sure you are adding put not post so yep let's get back and then guys let's call the controller let me just copy from here beware update function let's go to our student controller and create a update function let's make comment let's copy the function from above of store let's copy this function name and paste so you are getting all the request that is your model data and your id also from the url so with that help of id you are going to find the student id and then you are going to 
update those data so the student whatever data is there let's make it to update and once updated let's show the message as updated successfully all set now guys let's take this message and show back into our action.js so once updated if you want to show over here this is our customized one so let's get from the backend itself you can put response.data. Message okay, so this is the response from that response. You are getting the message which will show as updated successfully. So, yep, guys, let's go back to a student form control, and that's it, guys. So, three steps we have to follow that is one of our props. We are getting the ID and we are sending the axios request and getting them and setting into the model. So, this is one way of setting the model, or else you can use another way this dot model with the response data dot data from then. You are going to save the function okay all set so let's test it guys let's get back refresh okay so you have got the data let me just from om prakash let's make it to om n okay and this one a section let's save student so updating student student updated successfully and redirected to students page where you can see that data has been updated guys perfect so let's try to edit and let's update from om to om prakash n and from bca to we'll make it to mca and this will be a b section om prakash at gmail.com let's save student updating updated successfully and you are back to students page perfect guys so guys in this video that's it we have seen that how to edit and update the students data and now guys let's see next video how to show the data without this fields as editing it so right now it is editable while showing it will not be editable okay so guys thank you for watching this video please continue next video about show and delete data thank you once again